we're excited to announce that we are building something new and it's going to be on our own property for us. Yeah, so Which we, is a change. we are laying out for a 20 by 24 structure that will be a single story. And we've decided because we've moved out of our office in Wardensville to uh, we're actually building our office here on our property. We looked at uh, a lot of different options, buying another piece of property and building, buying something and just converting it to an office. But with the market, it, it's not a buyer's market. And then we realized that we have land and we've always contemplated building like an additional dwelling unit, something that we can have the kids or family stay in when they come to visit. And uh, when it dawned on us that this could be a multi-use type facility or multi-use type building. Um, made the most sense. Made the most sense. So Which we, is a change. Yeah, we recently moved out of our office and it was something that was becoming less and less used. It was an expense we couldn't justify. Uh, we're meeting with clients five to six times a month to do our presentations, but otherwise we work from home. Yep. And um, we have always ha kind of had on the back burner a plan to do something on our property um, to as like a, a tiny house. A small or, guest house. Yeah, we've wanted it so they would they would have a little more privacy, uh, not have to be right in our immediate dwelling area uh, to our encourage <laughs> our kids to come more often uh, if they have that privacy. So that but that's always been on the back burner, not something that was we were kind of moving forward with in the next few years until. And so it's become a two for one right. that we're going to be building this guest space, but also make it multi-purpose for us to meet with our clients at. Yeah, so the, the structure is 20 by 24, 480 square feet. It has a small kitchen and a bathroom, full bathroom, uh, but otherwise it's open. So the space will be converted from kind of a living space to over to a meeting a space. Meeting space. Yeah. Um, so that's a little bit shifting of the furniture, um, but otherwise not, not a big deal. Uh, there'll be a sleeping loft that we uh, we'll include a ladder too, kind of a movable ladder that will kind of slide out to the middle to go up or slide out of the way, depending on how you use it. So it's convertible. Convertible? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Multi-purpose. We love the idea of designing and building tiny homes and trying to use space more efficiently. So here we are challenged with this because we are limited to this uh, 480 square feet. We, we've committed to the plan and the size, yep. and now we're trying to fit it out. We're calling this project the Victory House, um, reminiscent of the Victory Garden, because right now, especially in our area, it's hard to find builders, it's hard to find materials. It, it's reminiscent and, of a time where it's very different circumstances, yeah. but it's it, it reminds us of, you know, we didn't live through it, but it was something at a, a period of time where people were learning to essentially build their own gardens yeah and they did that during COVID I mean the yeah Victory it, Garden made a comeback during COVID it, that is that is true yeah and so it, it's very similar and what we're saying is that uh, learn how to build and if you live in anywhere like we are builders are a year out or more yeah and materials whatever you know the story it's very difficult and That's one way to overcome that is learning how to build yourself uh, learning how to build also includes learning how to design. And so that's kind of the instructional side is how to design, how to build, and put it all together. A project like this is achievable by your average do-it-yourselfer. Uh, our goal is to have built with no specialty equipment, your average typical hand tools that... You can dig um, a hole with a spoon if you want. I mean. <laughs> Yes, uh, we might use an auger, but the goal is to build it without any specialty equipment that wouldn't be out of uh, unattainable by uh, your average person. Uh, again, the the audience here is for do-it-yourselfers and someone that wants to take on a project of this scale uh, themselves. 
Yeah, and a project like this could be anything from a guest house or office space to an Airbnb, uh, art studio. I mean, whatever you want it to be. It's it's essentially we're building a box. Yeah, and I, I think that the the goal here is to learn how to build, and maybe it's not this structure exactly or it's something similar, but it's to learn how to build. And through that learning how to build, you're learning how to maintain you're learning how if you know how it was built you know how to fix it we'll be documenting this the build and in this series it's going to be more instructional than our typical videos uh, that's really the goal with this is but not only just on the build side but on the design side uh, sarah and our daughter chloe who's here through hopefully the winter uh, will be working she'll on it she'll definitely be here through the winter. yeah she'll be here through the winter <laughs> so uh, what that provides us is an opportunity to have two people who haven't done a whole lot of building um, to go through this instructional, these steps uh, to learn how to build so you learn how to build as they learn how to build. Yeah. Um, but efficiently, like you're not going to see all their, the, all their mistakes and, you know, all the, there will be lots of mistakes. all the hardships. But will the goal is to have we'll something more ed, uh, instructional, <laughs> more instructional and educational. And a lot of the video series that will be on locals will dive into some of the building science, some more of the more specific how to technical stuff. Technical stuff. Yeah. Uh, but our course series, which will be on locals or YouTube, will have step by step building uh, with a lot of reference back and forth to our design and using the plans, the how do we do the scheduling, how we do the material takeoffs, um, and implement that. So that should be fun. It's something that's different uh, for us. interested in building the same box that we are building yeah right i mean it's more than a box but it's gonna it, be a really nice box it's a really nice box it's a very adaptable design it's versatile you could easily expand uh this box uh you could change the add roof pitch it. add on to it make it larger uh it's it it's very basic but for this reason that I think it's a really good starting ground for a building like this. Again, cabin in the woods, a rental, a an shed. office, a studio, a shed. Uh, we've, we're putting out the building plans for sale. And you can purchase those plans. There's a link where you can do that. But you can also get those by joining Locals. And if you join Locals as a standard annual supporter, you'll get a 25% discount on those plans. But if you join as a premium annual supporter, you'll get those plans for free. And a lot of the technical videos that we were talking about. Yeah, so there's a whole uh, list of benefits as joining as a supporter. So please check out the webpage on those and you'll see what those are. Uh, they're all geared towards instructional type um, or resource-based uh, materials. Uh, from material list to some of the research built behind the building science of why we designed it the way we did. 
the gray water project system scheduling. that we're going to put in. We'll explore the gray water system. We'll explore uh, solar panel, battery backup. We may not put those things in our project, but we're actually going to go down that path in terms of uh, exploring and incorporating those in the building plans because uh, it is a goal of ours down the road. So find us on Locals and check us out there. If Locals isn't good for you and you want to stick to YouTube, we'll be posting this content on YouTube so you can stick around here and watch them. You can purchase the plans independently if you're interested in those. Um, but if you want to get us on Locals, that just starts at $5 a month. As of now, when we're live, okay. there'll be a 30-day free. So you can so join as a supporter, 30 days free. And uh, you get 30 days to check us out. And we should have a video or two up. You'll see kind of the nature of what our videos will be. And um, decide then if you, you want to stick around or not. Just take the time and check us out. And we would appreciate the support. And share the video if you know anybody who else might be interested. Share the video. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.